good afternoon. Welcome once again to Karimbu, the quiz show which challenges our children to familiarize themselves with Ghana and Africa. <clears throat> we are in the ninth preliminary contest. And for the ninth preliminary contest, um, if you have been if you've been watching us for the past eight weeks, you would have seen these contestants already. They were the highest scorers of the previous contest who just um, who just didn't make it into the semi-finals. They were just shy of making it into the semi-finals, but they were the highest scorers. So we have them back to compete in quiz nine to give each of them another chance to go into the semi-finals. So um, before we introduce them, let me take a moment to acknowledge those who made this show possible. First of all, we'd like to acknowledge Quality Life Assurance, where you can get the best insurance for all your needs. QLAC inspires trust. And Susanna Lodge Hotel, for, from where you can get the best accommodation and cuisine for a unique experience. Karim Busho is presented by the Ofana Ed Foundation. Ofana Ed is a charity that gives educational water to thirsty students. And now I'd like you to meet our three contestants. This week contestants are Tohib Zakari Kafilu, Miriam Zakaria, Leonardo Noy. You're all welcome to the show and I wish you all the best of luck this time round. And now before we go any further, let's take a moment to hear some about something that happened in our recent history. A moment in history, once upon a time, this event happened in Ghana. Once upon a time, more than five decades ago, Ghana experienced her first coup d'etat. That day in history was 24th February 1966. And the president at that time was Kwame Nkrumah, the first president of Ghana. He had been in office for nine years since Independence Day in March 1957. Kwame Nkrumah was the leader of the Convention People's Party, which was a government in office. The president had left the country and was on a trip to Hanoi in Vietnam when the military, in conjunction with the police, took over the reins of government. A body called the National Liberation Council, NLC, was installed to steer the affairs of the country. The leaders of the NLC were Colonel E.K. Kotuka, Major A.A. Afrifa, Lieutenant General Retired J.A. Ankara, and Police Inspector General J.W.K. Harley. The NLC was in power from February 1966 until September 1969, when a new democratic government was sworn in. Kwame Nkrumah was never allowed to return to Ghana alive because there was a price on his head. He traveled to Guinea on the west coast of Africa and became the guest of the government of Guinea. President Sekuturi of Guinea gave him asylum and made Nkrumah co-president of Guinea. He remained in Guinea until 1972 when he fell ill, he was sent to a hospital in Romania for treatment where he died far away from Ghana. Welcome back. And um, before we go into the quiz, let us take a message from our sponsors. In life, nothing stays the same forever. At Quality Life, we believe that living a better life is your right. Leave all your worries to us and go on to live comfortably because you deserve it. Apply for the Quality Education Plan, Quality Funeral Support Plan, Quality Smart Plan, Quality Mortgage Protection Plan, Quality Investment Plan, Group Insurance Policies and Micro Insurance Product that guarantees you absolute peace of mind. Call us on 0556-589665 and let's see how we can help position you for a better future. Quality Life Assurance. We inspire trust. Speaking of Africa, did you know that Burkina Faso attained their independence in 1960 but adopted the name Burkina Faso in 1984? Speaking of Ghana, did you know that in 1967 there was a failed coup attempt to overthrow the government of Ghana? 
What are the capitals of Rwanda, Chad and Gabon? What currencies are used in Mali, Libya and Zambia? Did you know that before the Fourth Republic, Ghana had many years of military rule which separated the first three republics? And did you know that the Volta Lake is bigger than the whole of the Greater Accra region? Speaking of Africa, did you know that? And speaking of Ghana, did you know that? Our two new books that contain loads of information, the thousands of questions and answers in the books are not there to test the students but to teach in an exciting way about Ghana and Africa and the great men and women who first lit the torch of progress and dedicated their lives to building their nations. To get your copies, call Arimas Media on... Some have called it a home away from home. Others have called it friendly, comfortable and cozy. It's indeed a unique experience to visit us. At Susanna Lodge, our welcome is our logo, our service, our brand, and the joy you experience is our emblem. Located at Adembra Road at East Contourment. My name is Selma Al Hassan, and uh, sometimes I get interested in certain facts about Ghana and Africa and about our history. Not necessarily why certain things happened, but just that they happened. Did you know that John Dramani Mahama was the first Ghanaian to have moved from the position of vice president to president successively? John Atamils did not move directly from vice president to president. He lost two elections in 2000 and 2004 before winning in 2008. This is just a little tidbit from a book I wrote called Speaking of Ghana, Did You Know That? And the book is full of so much information about Ghana, about our personalities and about our recent, interesting, sometimes turbulent, history. It's been approved by NACA as supplementary reading for junior and senior secondary schools. And I have another book called Speaking of Africa. Did you know that? In this book, I take every African country and write a little summary about it. Then I go on and give bullet points concerning things about the country. For example, what their capital is, what their currency is, where they are located geographically on the map of Africa, and a few facts about them. So after reading this book, speaking of Africa, did you know that? You'll know just about everything interesting about Africa. You don't need to know the deep history or geography of any nation, but you know that it exists and you know the kind of people that live there, the Africans that live there. So I have these two books which are on the market and I encourage you to buy. Um, you can find it at Delcom Bookstore, Amazon.com, Booknook, EPP Books and others. And you can call the number on your screen and order the books. Once again, you are welcome to the Karimbu quiz. Now I'm going to tell you the rules and regulations of the game. There are nine preliminary quizzes and there are three contestants for each quiz. Each contestant will answer 20 general questions. The general questions are worth four points each. The contestant will also answer four map reading questions each. The map reading questions are worth five points each. Each contestant then has a total possible score of 100 points. The top scorer makes it to the semi-finals. There are three semi-final contests and the winner of each semi-final progresses to the final quiz. Time allotted is three seconds for general questions and five seconds for map reading questions. When the time is up, 
there will be a buzzer which sounds like this every step of the game you win something so for the first round if you're a winner you get 300 cds and a place in the semi-finals if you came second you get 200 cds and if you came third you get 100 cds in the final round the points become money each semi-final point is worth 10 Ghana CDs, but the winner gets the maximum amount of 1,000 Ghana CDs. No matter how many points back, the final contest is where the winner gets a whopping 5,000 Ghana CDs, and the runners up gets 50 Ghana CDs for each point they get. In the semi finals and finals, the more points you win, the more money you get. Everyone who competes in Karimbu is a winner. All right, now we are ready to start the game, so we are going to answer 10 general questions on Ghana. I'm going to ask you the questions in succession and I'll go from contestant to contestant until each of you has answered 10 questions. And each of you are going to get an equal number of history and geography questions. So we start with Tohib and your question is, who was the second president in the Fourth Republic? J.A. Kufour or John Atta Mills? J.A. Kufour. J.A. Kufour is correct. And now we go to the next. That is Miriam. When is the Larabanga Mosque believed to have been built? In the 15th century Trans-Saharan trade or during colonialism in the 19th century? During colonialism in the 19th century. Um, Larabanga Mosque. I'm sorry, it was in the 15th century during the Trans-Saharan trade. Okay. And Leonardo. The National Redemption Council was set up to govern Ghana after which coup d'etat? 13 January 1972 or 4 June 1979? 1972. That is correct. Well done, Leonardo. Okay. And we go back to Tohib. Tohib, what lies west? What lies west of the Upper West Region, Burkina Faso or Cote d'Ivoire? This is the question again. What lies west of the Upper West Region? I'm sorry, you are bailed out. Okay. Um, Miriam. Which of these towns lies on the banks of the Volta Lake? Yape or Yamaransa? Yape. Yape is correct. And we go on to Leonardo. Leonardo, what is the capital of the Ahafo region? Gosu or Kintampo? Gosu. Gosu is correct. Okay. Tohib, which town in Ghana is associated with a failed assassination attempt on the life of President Nkuma, Nzulezu or Kulungugu? Kulungugu. Kulungugu is correct. Well done. We go to the next question, which is. Who was the running mate to candidate John Evans at Tamils in the 2004 elections? Mohamed Mumuni or John Mahama? Mohamed Mumuni. Mohamed Mumuni is correct. Okay. And then we go to the next, uh, which is for Leonardo. How many years did John Atamil serve as president before he died in 2012? Three years or seven years? Three years. Three years is correct. Well done. Back to Tohib. <laughs> Tohib, in which region can you find the Kasina Nankana West District? The Upper West Region or the Upper East Region? The Upper East Region. Upper East Region is correct. Well done. Okay. Miriam. If you live in Takradi and you are traveling to Accra, in which direction will you travel? East or west? West. East, sorry. East is correct. Yeah. I'll give her the point because I didn't prompt her. So the next point is for Leonardo. The next question is for Leonardo. Leonardo, if you live in Accra and you need to get to Koforidua, which general direction will you travel in, north or south? North. North is correct. Good. Now we're going to target. Which head of state was in office when the upper region was divided into Upper East Region and Upper West Region, Rawlings or Akufo Ado? Rawlings. Rawlings is correct. In 1983. Okay. 
Miriam, what position did Nana Akufo Addo hold during the second term of Mr. Kufo's presidency? Vice President or Minister of Foreign Affairs? Minister of Foreign Affairs. Min Minister of Foreign Affairs is correct. Good. Now we go on to Leonardo. The palace for the King of Wa was said to have been built in which century? The 16th century or the 19th century? The 16th century. 16th century. Well done. Correct. Okay. So here. Toib, in which region can you find the town of Nandom? The Upper West Region or the Northern Region? The Upper West Region. Upper West Region is correct. Well done. Um, Miriam. In which region can you find the Pong Dam? The Volta region or the Eastern region? The Volta region. I'm sorry, that's the Eastern region. Okay, Leonardo. Where can you find the Bonfubiri Falls? The Ashanti region or the Eastern region? The Ashanti region. Ashanti region. Correct. Who was the Vice President of Ghana during the presidency of Dr. Hila Liman? Call a car or JWS de Graf Johnson. JWS de Graf Johnson. Right. Okay. Then Miriam. Miriam. Who was the fourth person to hold the title of Vice President of Ghana? Dr. De Graf Johnson or Alhaji Aliu Mahama? Dr. De Graf Johnson. I'm sorry, it was Alhaji Aliu Mahama. The first person to hold um the title of Vice President in Ghana was Dr. DeGraf Johnson. He was Liman's Vice President. That's the first time Ghana had a Vice President. In Nkrumah's regime, there was no Vice President. In the Second Republic, there was no Vice President because there was a President and a Prime Minister. So Dr. DeGraf Johnson was the first person to hold the position of um, Vice President. Then after him, after Dr. DeGraf Johnson, the next person to hold the position of vice president was Ko Aka because, you know, Rawlings is vice president. And then the third person to hold the position of vice president was John Atta Mills before um, Mr. Kufour became president. So Aliu Mahama was the fourth person to hold the position of vice president. Okay, so now we're going to Leonardo. <clears throat> Leonardo, in how many administrations did the former First Lady Nana Kunedu Ajiman Rollins serve as First Lady? Two or three? Three. Three. Three is correct. Well done. Let me go to the next question, Tohib. Tohib, you are in the Northeast region and you want to go to the Northern region. In what direction will you travel? North or South? South. South is correct. Very good. Okay. Miriam. Miriam, where is Techiman located? The Bunu East region or the Ahafu region? The Bunu East region. The Bunu East region is correct. Good. Okay. And Leonardo. Leonardo, in which region is the Larabanga Mosque? The Upper East region or the Savannah region? The Savannah region. Savannah region is correct. And Tohib. Who was the flag bearer? For the National Democratic Congress in the 2008 elections, Flight Lieutenant Rawlings or John Evans Atta Mills? John Evans Atta Mills. That is correct. And the next question goes to Miriam. Who was the running mate for the NPP in the 2008 elections? Nana Kufuado or Alhaji Mahmoudou Baumia? Nana Kufuado. I'm um, sorry, it was um, Dr. Alhaji Mahmoud Baumia. Um, Nana Kufuado, I don't think he ever stood in the position of vice presidential candidate. You know, he was always presidential candidate. And Leonardo, where did Tetequachi first plant the cocoa seeds he brought to the Gold Coast, Mampong or Cape Coast? Mampong. Mampong is correct. Tohib. Tohib, what country does the Western North region share a border with Cote d'Ivoire or Togo? Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire is correct. <laughs> um, 
Miriam. Where is the town of Boku located? The Upper East Region or the Northeast Region? The Northeast Region. I'm sorry, Boku is in the Upper East Region. Okay. And... Leonardo. Bogatanga is the capital of which region? The Upper East Region or the Upper West Region? The Upper East Region. Upper East Region is correct. Well done. Well done to all of you. And now it's time for us to do the map reading on Ghana. So, Tohib, please, come and stand beside the map of Ghana with your pointer and wait for your two questions. Okay. Okay, which of these two entities shares a land border with the central region, the Bunu East region or the Eastern region? The Eastern region. The Eastern region is correct. Well done. And your next question is, which of these two entities shares a land border with the Western North region, the Atlantic Ocean or Côte d'Ivoire? Côte d'Ivoire. Côte d'Ivoire is correct, yeah. Shares a land border with the Western North region. Okay, Atlantic Ocean doesn't. Okay, Miriam, it's your turn. Pick up the pointer and be ready. Which of these two regions sits north of the northern region? The northeast region or the western north region? Sits north of the northern region, the northeast region or the western north region? The northeast region. All right, that's correct. You made it in time. Yeah, okay. Um, one word of advice, listen very carefully. I try to enunciate very well. Listen very carefully. Because when you ask me to repeat the question, you are eating into your three seconds, okay? All right, so listen very carefully. Which of these two entities share a land border with the greater Accra region, the central region or the Ashanti region? The central region. The central region is correct. Well done. Okay, now it's your turn, Leonardo. Okay. Which of these regions, Leonardo, is on the boundary between Ghana and Togo? The OT region or the Eastern region? The OT region. The OT region is correct. And your last question is, which of these two regions share a land border with the Ahafo region? The Ashanti region or the Eastern region? The Ashanti, region? Ashanti region is correct. Well done. I think you all got your map reading questions correct. And that makes me very happy. And um, congratulations to all of you. And uh, we are done with the part of the quiz, which is on Ghana. And now we are going to take a break. And then when we come back, we will tackle the segment on Africa. In life, nothing stays the same forever. At Quality Life, we believe that living a better life is your right. Leave all your worries to us and go on to live comfortably because you deserve it. Apply for the Quality Education Plan, Quality Funeral Support Plan, Quality Smart Plan, Quality Mortgage Protection Plan, Quality Investment Plan, Group Insurance Policies and Micro Insurance Product that guarantees you absolute peace of mind. Call us on 0556-589665 and let's see how we can help position you for a better future. Quality Life Assurance. We inspire trust. Speaking of Africa, did you know that Burkina Faso attained their independence in 1960 but adopted the name Burkina Faso in 1984? Speaking of Ghana, did you know that in 1967 there was a failed coup attempt to overthrow the government of Ghana? What are the capitals of Rwanda, Chad and Gabon? What currencies are used in Mali, Libya and Zambia? Did you know that before the Fourth Republic, Ghana had many years of military rule which separated the first three republics? And did you know that the Volta Lake is bigger than the whole of the Greater Accra region? Speaking of Africa, did you know that? And speaking of Ghana, did you know that? Are two new books that contain loads of information, the thousands of questions and answers in the books are not there to test the students but to teach in an exciting way about Ghana and Africa and the great men and women who first lit the torch of progress and dedicated their lives to building their nations. To get your copies, call Arimas Media on. Yeah. 
some have called it home away from home. Others have called it friendly, comfortable, and cozy. It's indeed a unique experience to visit us. At Susanna Lodge, our welcome is our logo, our service, our brand, and the joy you experience is our emblem. Located at Adembra Road at East Contourment. My name is Selma Al Hassan, and uh, sometimes I get interested in certain facts about Ghana and Africa and about our history. Not necessarily why certain things happened, but just that they happened. Did you know that John Dramani Mahama was the first Ghanaian to have moved from the position of vice president to president successively? John Atamills did not move directly from vice president to president. He lost two elections in 2000 and 2004 before winning in 2008. This is just a little tidbit from a book I wrote called Speaking of Ghana, did you know that? And the book is full of so much information about Ghana, about our personalities, and about our recent, interesting, sometimes turbulent history. It's been approved by NACA as supplementary reading for junior and senior secondary schools. And I have another book called Speaking of Africa. Did you know that? In this book, I take every African country and write a little summary about it. Then I go on and give bullet points concerning things about the country. For example, what their capital is, what their currency is, where they are located geographically on the map of Africa, and a few facts about them. So after reading this book, Speaking of Africa, did you know that? You'll know just about everything interesting about Africa. You don't need to know the deep history or geography of any nation, but you know that it exists and you know the kind of people that live there, the Africans that live there. So I have these two books which are on the market and I encourage you to buy. Um, you can find it at Delcom Bookstore, Amazon.com, BookNook, EPP Books, and others. And you can call the number on your screen and order the books. Welcome back to the Karim Book Quiz. Now, we finished the part on Ghana in our ninth preliminary contest and uh, we are going to tackle the part on Africa. But before we do that, let's see how the quiz is shaping up so far. And it's interesting, we have Yonada Noy in the lead with 50 points, with Tohib close second of 46, and Miriam at 30 points. It's still only half of the quiz, so we are going to tackle the second half now and see how everybody does. So now we're going to ask the questions on Africa and I'm going to go first of all to Tohib. Tohib, in which year did Uganda attain independence? 1957 or 1962? Correct, that is good. And Miriam, in 1980, this indigenous Liberian staged a coup that ended the 130-year rule of the Americo Liberians. Master Sergeant Doe or Prince Johnson? Master Sergeant Doe. That is correct. Well done. Well done. Well done. And um, Leonardo, in which ocean can you find the Seychelles Islands? The Atlantic Ocean or the Indian Ocean? The Atlantic Ocean. I'm sorry, that's the Indian Ocean. The seashells is in the Indian Ocean. Okay, now we go to Tohib. Tohib, what's the currency used in Zimbabwe? The dollar, 
or the kwacha? The dollar. The dollar is correct. <laughs> Miriam. Miriam, what is another name for the country of Algeria? Diamond in the Kalahari or land of cherries and dates? Diamond in the Kalahari. I'm sorry, it's the land of cherries and dates. Um, um, Algeria is in the northern part of Africa. The Kalahari is in southern Africa. So that should have tipped you off that even if you didn't know the answer that it has to be the other one. It's the land of cherries and dates, okay. Now, um, Leonardo. Leonardo, Timbuktu is a city in which African country? Mali or Mauritania? Mali. Mali is correct. Okay. Tohid, what is the currency unit in Burundi? The franc or the kwacha? The franc. The franc is correct. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Miriam, in what year did Sierra Leone obtain independence from Britain? 1861 or 1961? 1861. I'm sorry. Sierra Leone I, I obtained independence in 1961. Okay. And Leonardo, what is the currency in Western Sahara? The Deham or the dinner? The dinner. The dinner is correct. Well done. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tohib, what is the capital of Botswana? Gaborone or Bobo de Lasso? Gaborone. Gaborone is correct. Well done. Miriam, who was Angola's first president? David Dako or Agostino Neto? Agostino Neto. Agostino Neto is correct. Good. All right. Mm -hmm. Miriam, who was the first president of Chad? Francois Tombalai or Ahmed Bedoui? Francois Tombalai. That is correct. Okay, we go on to the next one. Tohib, in which body of water can we find the twin islands of Sao Tome and Principe? The Gulf of Guinea or the Mozambique Channel? The Gulf of Guinea. The Gulf of Guinea. That is correct. Okay. And Miriam. What is the currency in Sudan? The Sudanese dollar or the Sudanese pound? The Sudanese dollar. I'm sorry, that's the Sudanese pound. Okay. And the and now we're going to Leonardo. Leonardo, what is the Tanzanite? A city in Tanzania or a rare precious mineral? A rare precious mineral. Correct. It's a rare precious mineral found only in Tanzania. Okay. So, hip. Toy, who was the first president of Cape Verde? Aristides Pereira or Hubert Maga? Aristides Pereira. Pereira is correct. Very good. Okay. Now. Miriam, what is the official language in Tunisia? English or Arabic? Arabic. Arabic. That's correct. All right. We we'll go to Leonardo. Leonardo, what is the capital of Zambia? Luanda or Lusaka? Lusaka. Lusaka. All right. That is correct. Tohib. Okay, Tohib. Who is the first president of Kenya? Whose son is the current president of Kenya? Uhuru Kenyatta or Jomo Kenyatta? Jomo Kenyatta. Jomo Kenyatta. That is correct. Okay. Miriam, what is the currency unit of the Central African Republic? The Central African CFA franc or the Kwacha? CFA franc. CFA franc. Fantastic. Correct. And now we go to Leonardo. What body of water washes the western border of Cameroon? The Bight of Biafra or the Gulf of Cameroon? The Gulf of Cameroon. I'm sorry, the answer is the Bight of Biafra. I, I, I don't think there's anything called the, uh, the Gulf of Cameroon. I've not heard of any body of water called the Gulf of Cameroon. Anyway, um, Tahib, what are the colors of the flag of Senegal? Red gold and green or black 
and blue. Red, gold, and green. That is correct. So we got red, gold, and green. Okay. Miriam, who was the first prime minister of an independent Nigeria? Abubakar Tafawa Balewa or Yakubu Gowon? Abubakar Tafawa Gamera. You are right, Abubakar Tafawa, that's enough for me. <laughs> you got it right, Tafawa Balewa. Okay. All right. Yonada. Wagadugu is the capital of which country, Niger or Burkina Faso? Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso is correct. Okay. I want you to name a mountain range that is part of the landscape of uh, Morocco, the Atlas Mountains or the Drakensberg Mountains. The Atlas Mountains. The Atlas Mountains. Correct. Well done. Okay. And Miriam, in what year did Zambia attain independence? 1954 or 1964? 1964. 1964. Correct. And then, Yonada, what is the capital of Somalia? Somali or Mogadishu? Mogadishu. Mogadishu is correct. All right. Okay. And Tohi. So what lies on the southwestern side of the Republic of Congo, Lake Victoria or the Atlantic Ocean, the western side of Congo? Lake Victoria. I'm sorry, the answer is the Atlantic Ocean. Lake Victoria is on the eastern side of Congo. Okay. Miriam, what is the official language in Uganda? English or French? French. I'm sorry, it's English. Okay. And... Leonardo, in which modern African country did the Maravi Empire thrive in the Middle Ages? Malawi or Nigeria? Malawi. Malawi is correct. Well done. Well done to all of you. And now we finish the part on Africa. And once again, everybody has done very well. And we are going to now take the um, Ask You Questions on Map Reading Africa. So Tohib, take your pointer, come and stand beside the map of Africa and wait for your two questions. Okay, your first question is, what country is on the eastern border of Mali, Niger or Mauritania? Mauritania. I'm sorry, it's wrong. Okay, Tohib, your second question is, Mozambique lies immediately east of which country? Zimbabwe or Tunisia? Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is correct. Okay, that's good. Okay. Okay, Miriam, it's your turn. Take your pointer. Stand beside the map of Africa. And here we go. What is west, west of Kenya, Uganda or Somalia? Somalia. I'm sorry, that is west of Kenya is West Kenya. West of Kenya is Uganda. West is always on the left and east is on the right. So Somalia is east. You know. Okay. So your next question is What entity lies on the immediate north of Algeria? The Mediterranean Sea or the Red Sea? Please, the question again. What entity lies on the immediate north of Algeria, the Mediterranean Sea or the Red Sea? The Mediterranean Sea. Mm, okay. I told you, listen very carefully, because if you, if I have to um, um, give you the point, it is into your time. You know, you are bailed out. You are bailed out. So it is the Mediterranean Sea, you know, but you are bailed out. So, and <clears throat> Leonardo, it's your turn. Okay. Which of these countries lies on the southern border of Morocco? Western Sahara or South Sudan? Western Sahara. Western Sahara is correct. And your next question. Namibia is a southern 
African country, which lies immediately south of which country? South Africa or Angola? South Africa. So, um, I'm sorry you were bailed out. So, we finished um, the quiz. We finished the ninth preliminary quiz. And um, we are going to take a message now from our sponsors. In life, nothing stays the same forever. At Quality Life, we believe that living a better life is your right. Leave all your worries to us and go on to live comfortably because you deserve it. Apply for the Quality Education Plan, Quality Funeral Support Plan, Quality Smart Plan, Quality Mortgage Protection Plan, Quality Investment Plan, Group Insurance Policies and Micro Insurance Product that guarantees you absolute peace of mind. Call us on 0556-589665 and let's see how we can help position you for a better future. Quality Life Assurance. We inspire trust. Speaking of Africa, did you know that Burkina Faso attained their independence in 1960 but adopted the name Burkina Faso in 1984? Speaking of Ghana, did you know that in 1967 there was a failed coup attempt to overthrow the government of Ghana? What are the capitals of Rwanda, Chad and Gabon? What currencies are used in Mali, Libya and Zambia? Did you know that before the Fourth Republic, Ghana had many years of military rule which separated the first three republics? And did you know that the Volta Lake is bigger than the whole of the Greater Accra region? Speaking of Africa, did you know that? And speaking of Ghana, did you know that? Our two new books that contain loads of information, the thousands of questions and answers in the books are not there to test the students but to teach in an exciting way about Ghana and Africa Africa and the great men and women who first lit the torch of progress and dedicated their lives to building their nations. To get your copies, call Arimas Media on. Some have called it home away from home. Others have called it friendly, comfortable and cozy. It's indeed a unique experience to visit us. At Susanna Lodge, our welcome is our logo, our service, our brand, and the joy you experience is our emblem. Located at Adembra Road at East Contumens. My name is Selma Al Hassan, and uh, sometimes I get interested in certain facts about Ghana and Africa and about our history. Not necessarily why certain things happened, but just that they happened. Did you know that John Dramani Mahama was the first Ghanaian to have moved from the position of vice president to president successively? John Atamills did not move directly from vice president to president. He lost two elections in 2000 and 2004 before winning in 2008. This is just a little tidbit from a book I wrote called Speaking of Ghana, did you know that? And the book is full of so much information about Ghana, about our personalities and about our recent, interesting, sometimes turbulent, history. It's been approved by NACA as supplementary reading for junior and senior secondary schools. And I have another book called Speaking of Africa. Did you know that? In this book, I take every African country and write a little summary about it. Then I go on and give bullet points concerning things about the country. For example, what their capital is, what their currency is, where they are located geographically on the map of Africa, and a few facts about them. So after reading this book, speaking of Africa, did you know that? You'll know just about everything interesting about Africa. You don't need to know the deep history or geography of any nation, but you know 
that it exists and you know the kind of people that live there, the Africans that live there. So I have these two books which are on the market and I encourage you to buy. Um, you can find it at Delcom Bookstore, Amazon.com, Booknook, EPP Books and others. And you can call the number on your screen and order the books. Welcome back. And um, before we go any further, there is a surprise on the show, but before we go any further, let's see how the results have shaped up. And um, for the first time in the history of the Karimbu Quiz, we have a tie for first place, and we need to break the tie. Leonardo Noy and Tohid are tied for first place with 87 points each. Now, um, we are going to have um, a tiebreaker. We need to have a tiebreaker. And we are going to have a sudden death competition between Leonardo and Tohi. And all the questions I'm going to ask them will be on Africa because on the Ghana part of the quiz, there was no tie. Leonardo clearly won that with 50 points and uh, Tohib came second with 46 points. So the tie came in the Africa part of the quiz. So I'm going to ask them a number of questions each and um, it will be a sudden death. So um, for now, I'm going to say congratulations to all of you. So right now we need to break the tie and the questions are going to be only between Tohib and Leonardo. And like I said, all the questions are going to be on Africa. I'm going to, and there, there are going to be no options. I'm going to ask the question and you are going to give me the answer. I'm not going to give you any options. All right? Okay. So the first question goes to Tohi. This man was born in America and settled in Liberia and was elected the first president of Liberia in 1848. Name him. I'm sorry, that is wrong. Okay. The answer, sorry, the answer is Robert Jenkins. Robert Jenkins. Okay. Leonardo, what is the name given to a citizen of Eswatini? Swazila. I'm sorry, that is wrong. The name given to a citizen of Eswatini is Liswati. All right, so we are still on. Kigali is the capital of which country? Uganda. No, I'm wrong. Do you know it? Okay, right. The answer is Rwanda. I believe it even came up earlier. Tohib, what is the official language in Libya? Arabic. Arabic is correct. Okay. Leonardo, apart from Ghana, name just one other ECOWAS country. Côte d'Ivoire. That is correct. Okay, so we are still in the, you know, sudden death. They are, the contestants are equal, I believe, with a, a point, four points each. So now we have, um, we are still in the sudden death. And the question goes to Tohib. Who was the first president of Côte d'Ivoire? Um, Felix Ufet Wagen. That is correct. Okay. Leonardo. Which African country is the world's fifth largest producer of uranium? Sierra Leone. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That is, that was uh, Niger. So um, it's a you know sudden death. So um, Tohib got two corrects, 
and Leonardo got one correct. So we have our winner. But Leonardo deserves um, <laughs> a first prize also. I mean, it's just that we have to take only one winner into the semi-finals. So it is um, Torhead. And today's, um, this is the final preliminary qu quiz for the Karim Book Quiz Show. And it has come with um, a big, big, big surprise. We have been expecting a tie since we began in season one. We never had one until today. And it's the very final show before we move into the semi-finals. But at least we have a semi-finalist. So um, thank you all so much for competing. And I think now we've come to the, the uh, fun part of the show. But before we do that, Let's take a message from our sponsors. In life, nothing stays the same forever. At Quality Life, we believe that living a better life is your right. Leave all your worries to us and go on to live comfortably because you deserve it. Apply for the Quality Education Plan, Quality Funeral Support Plan, Quality Smart Plan, Quality Mortgage Protection Plan, Quality Investment Plan, Group Insurance Policies and Micro Insurance Product that guarantees you absolute peace of mind. Call us on 0556-589665 and let's see how we can help position you for a better future. Quality Life Assurance. We inspire trust. Some have called it home away from home. Others have called it friendly, comfortable and cozy. It's indeed a unique experience to visit us. At Susanna Lodge, our welcome is our logo, our service, our brand, and the joy you experience is our emblem. Located at Adembra Road at East Contourment. Yeah, um, welcome back. Um, we've had the sudden death competition. Everybody, including me, was terribly nervous, but we've got a winner who has made it into the semi finals, and that is Tohi. But uh, Leonardo deserves first prize also, and she's going to get the reward for first prize, which is 300 CDs. And Miriam is also going to get double what she would have gotten because, because so far she's the highest scorer of the, those who came second. She actually got 91 in the first quiz. And so therefore she deserves something bigger. I promised her a bonus right from the beginning. You guys are just fantastic, all of you. I hope you understand that we just have to break the tie and get a, a winner who goes into the semi-finals. But I'm going to make sure that all of you find the whole quiz and everything worth it. So hang around and wait for me. In the meantime, I'm going to give you your prizes. And Miriam, well done, well done. You did very well in the first quiz. You got 91. And that gave you a second bite at the apple. So you are not going to get the consolation price of 100 CDs, but you're getting 200 CDs. So here you go. And Leonardo, you are getting the top prize of 300 CDs, just like Torhit. You are equal. It's just that you need only one person for the semifinals. So here you go, third prize. Sorry, here you go, 300 CDs. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Thorheb, you are the semi-finalist, but I hope you know that you are equal to her. Well done. And we'll see you in the um, semi-finals. I'm so happy and proud of all of you. Thank you so much for studying so well. And I hope um, you will do well in your studies and you compete again. And we shall see Thorheb in the semi-finals. So, um, this is the end of the preliminary contest for the Karimbu quiz. The next time you see us, 
it will be for one of the semi-final contests. So once again, let me say thank you to our sponsors who made this show possible, Quality Life Assurance, where you get the best possible insurance for all your benefits. QLAC inspires trust. And thank you, Susanna Lodge Hotel, for accommodating us and supporting us and sponsoring us. And the Ofana Ed Foundation is a charity that gives educational water to thirsty students. Everything is being presented by the Ofana Ed Foundation. Thank you very much for joining us this um, afternoon. Once again, my outfit, um, Asana Smocks, Supply the Fabric. You can find her on Facebook and Instagram. And she's located at Kukuo in Tamale. And then my dress was designed by Joanna Fashion Sinakra. My makeup was done by Selma Awudu. Thank you very much for being with us this afternoon. And I, I'm sure that you're going to join us for the semifinals and finals, which is going to be so much more exciting. Okay, bye for now.